Now once again we're going to look at the graph of an object's position over time and we can see in this graph how the object's position changes over time. And we're going to talk about the average velocity and the instantaneous velocity. And the average velocity will be a measure of how much, how much distance the object covers over a time interval. And the instantaneous velocity will be a, a measure of how fast the object is moving at an instant, at a particular moment in time. So let's look at the average velocity first. Let's put some numbers on here. Suppose this point represents a time of two seconds and the object's at a position of 20 meters. And then let's suppose over here, let's suppose this point represents a time of 12 seconds and corresponds to a position on the x-axis of 40 meters. Now we can connect those two points. We can draw a line segment connecting those two points. The slope of that line segment will be the average velocity over that time interval. You should be able to see that between 2 seconds and 12 seconds, during that time interval, it went from 20 meters to 40 meters. So we can talk about this change in x and this change in time. And the average velocity, let's calculate that over here, the average velocity is going to be delta x over delta t, the change in position compared to the corresponding time interval. So that's going to be 20 meters. You can see on the graph the change in position. Going from 20 to 40 is a change of 20 meters. And the time interval is 10 seconds. So 20 meters over 10 seconds comes out to 2 meters per second. That's the average velocity over that time interval. Now, part of the time it was moving forward, part of the time it was moving backward, and part of the time it was moving forward again. But on average, it was moving 2 meters per second forward. And we can write this we can write that the slope of a segment connecting two points on an XT graph, and that's this segment that I drew in here, and I'm going to write this. You should write this in your notes too. The slope of a segment connecting two points on an XT graph The slope of a segment connecting two points on an XT graph is the average velocity over that time interval. The slope of a segment connecting two points on an XT graph is the average velocity over that time interval. Now you can memorize that fact, but your goal should be to understand that fact. Think about it. It should make sense. You connect any two points on an XT graph, you get a line segment. The slope of that line segment is the average velocity over that corresponding time interval. Sometimes though we don't want to find the average velocity, we want to find the velocity at a particular moment. So for example, what if we had this moment in time right here, 5 seconds, and that corresponds to this point on the graph, and we want to know how fast it's moving at that particular instant, one moment in time. So there's no, no time interval here, instead we have an instant, one particular time and we want to know the velocity at that particular moment. We need the slope at that point. We need the slope of the graph at that point. So this is this corresponds to a particular x value here on the graph. But if we try to calculate the slope here, we can't do a rise over run. We can't do a delta x over a delta t because this is just one point right here and so is this. This is just one point. So our delta x here would be infinitely small and our delta t would be infinitely small. If we're trying to calculate a slope of an infinitely small point on the graph right there, you can see the graph does have a particular steepness. The graph right here is steeper than it is say here or here 
but we can't do rise over run because we're talking about one little point. I've drawn a little line segment, but we have to imagine that little line segment being infinitely small. Now we could imagine this graph being made up of a bunch of little tiny straight line segments. And at a particular moment in time, one of those segments would have a particular steepness. But to be accurate, we would have to imagine an infinite number of infinitely small little line segments. The slope of each one would be the slope of the graph at a particular point. And that slope that we're trying to find uh, right here in this case is what we call the derivative. The word derivative really just means the same thing as slope. And we recognize that it can be different at every point on the graph. And when we, have, when we have said already that the slope of an x versus t graph is the velocity, another way to say that is to say that the derivative of the position is the velocity. Because derivative essentially means the same thing as the slope. Now to find the slope at this particular point, here's what we're going to do. We're going to draw a line tangent to the graph at this point. So you want to draw a line that just barely touches the graph at that one point. And if you do it right, this line will have the same steepness as this curve has at that point. And we say that this line is, this line is called a tangent line. It is tangent to the graph at that point. And the slope of the line tangent to the graph at that point is equal to the slope of the graph at that point. And we can calculate the slope of that line segment. We can just pick two points on the line segment, any two points, and these two points would correspond to an interval on the x-axis and an interval on the t-axis. And with that, we can calculate a slope of that line segment. You can see we now have a discernible rise and a discernible run and that would be in meters and in seconds. So we would get a slope in meters per second in this case. But instead of having delta x and delta t being infinitely small, now we have an actual number for delta x and an actual number for delta t that we can use to calculate a velocity. And that would be uh, the slope represented by this line, and that would be the velocity at that moment, at that instant, what we call the instantaneous velocity. And we would also say that the value, the number we get for the slope of this segment is the derivative of this graph at that point.